All right, so to solve a problem like this, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to find our values of x, and we want to make sure we solve for it. That's going to be on, uh, within the range of 0 and 2 pi. All right, it has to be within that interval. So again, like we worked on before, we have to evaluate for our cosine function. So we need to isolate it, right? So let's use our inverse properties to isolate. So we add 2 to both sides. So I get square root of 3 times cosecant of x equals 2. Then to undo multiplying by the square root of 3, I'm going to divide by the square root of 3. And I get cosecant of x equals 2 over radical 3. Now, before I go and rationalize the denominator, which we've grain, ingrained on us, right? Automate, oh, we've got to rationalize it down. Before we get to that, we can actually work another step. Yes? Right, so we'd rationalize the denominator. But before we just automatically rationalize the denominator, uh, let's take a look at our unit circle. Okay? And remember, we're going to want to evaluate this by using the coordinate points on the unit circle. And ladies and gentlemen, we talked about finding the coordinate points on the unit circle. We said that the cosine of any angle on the unit circle is going to represent the x-coordinate of that point. The sine of that angle equals y. And the tangent of an angle equals the ratio of y over x, right? Do you guys remember doing that? And we just said, oh, the sine of this angle, and then you just found the x or the y coordinate, right? And if tangent, you found the ratio. Well, here we're finding cosecant, right? So how is cosecant going to be related to sine? Because if I was going to pick on the unit circle, I could easily find when y, what the y coordinate is. But finding the cosecant might, is a little bit different. So remember that cosecant of theta equals 1 over y, right? These are reciprocals of each other. So rather than trying to find the angle x that represents the, the 1 over y coordinate, let's just change this to the y coordinate. So how can you change, if this is written as 1 over y, how can we change it as y? Well, those are just reciprocals of each other, so we just reflect or uh, reciprocate. So therefore, I could say if cosecant of x is equal to 2 over radical 3, that means the sine of x is equal to square root of 3 over 2. Does that kind of make a little sense? And now that, that's a lot easier to do, right? Because now we know, oh, what values of x are equal to when the sine value, which is y, is equal to square root of 3 over 2. And that's a little bit easier from what we learned. So therefore now, we just need to figure out when is, when is sine square root of 3 over 2. Well, there's two points. At this point, we have 1 half comma square root of 3 over 2. And at this point, which we have negative 1 half comma square root of 3 over 2. So now we just need to know and remember, you know, what are those two points? Well, our first point, and remember, we're only finding the values within our interval of 0 and 2 pi. So our first value is x equals um, pi thirds. And the next point is going to be 2 pi thirds. Okay. None of these other points down here when sine, because sine would equal negative square root of 3 over 2 for any other of those points down in the third or fourth quadrant. So those are going to be your two solutions. Yes? So it's uh, only the right-hand like half of the unit circle that deals with cosine, and the rest is up, like on the top half? Like from 0 to 2 pi is first? No, I mean, I, I, we could have, this problem could have been negative. Like, if I would change this to this, a positive, then this whole problem would have been negative. And that means we would have to found the negative sign, which would have been your points down here, which would have been your angles down there. So it can be between, as long as it's is all, Your answer just has to be between 0 and 2 pi. Okay. All right? That's because that's the interval that I wrote in here. Sometimes we have, we don't put a restriction on it. And I'll show you how to do those when you don't have restriction. But here, I'm just restricting your answers between 0 and 2 pi. OK? Else questions? Good. Yes, sir. Not the right problem. Not right. Answer. Okay. You don't have what?